Well, obviously, with, with John out, uh, Nate just made the point, you, you had to play a lot more three this last game. How does that kind of change what you do out there? And obviously, the matchup is maybe playing a lot bigger wing or something of that right. nature. Uh, on the offensive end, it doesn't really change much. Our offense play multiple positions, but on defense, probably have a guard. Probably heavier, taller dude, but I mean, I'm going against that in practice all the time, so I've adjusted and I think I'll be good. Everyone knows you for your threes, but you've led the team in uh, layups and dunks the, the three of the last five games. Just how much a part of that is growing in your game? Uh, a lot. Uh, we work on our, what we call vitamins after every practice, you know, skill work, getting to the rim, finishing at the rim. So I feel like implementing, implementing that into my game was big, so. How have you noticed your game kind of growing throughout the season and improving as the year gone? Right. Um, I just feel like I've gotten way more comfortable with like each and every game. You know, the trust factor once again, I feel like it just makes me work harder, try new things, you know, so it feels good. Did that Auburn game give you some confidence from beyond the arc and just to talk about that? Most definitely. Uh, the environment was crazy, big game. You know how much it meant to both teams, so to go out there and play well was big for me, but give credit to my teammates for trusting me. And, yeah. Do you have a favorite spot on the floor? Uh, favorite spot? Uh, no, but everybody tells me, like, they come up to me, like, you got that three from the corner. So, I mean, I guess I shoot well from the corner, but I don't really have a favorite spot. Yeah. What's, what's the feeling among the team, you know, in the locker room right now? You, you suffer kind of uh, another tough loss on the road in the quad one opportunity. Right. And doubly losing JP for a couple, maybe one or two games. What, Right now. Um, just keep fighting. That's all we keep telling ourselves. Just keep fighting. We have love for everybody in that locker room. We know how much potential we have in that locker room, so we just keep fighting. Battle through this adversity, and we'll be fine. You've gone two and a half games now without a turnover. Just how much of a focus have you put on that? Um, big focus. Uh, coach always stresses that, whether we're on film or just to me personally. Turning the ball over doesn't really help our offense. Messes up on defense, so turn the ball over is big. I learned a lot from Cairo. He doesn't turn the ball over too much, so just, uh, yeah, keeping the ball from turning over Colin. Do you and Cairo kind of play off each other, like with, with he scoring, and you kind of get a, a need or a want to, to do the same, and vice versa? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, if he's hot, you know, we're going to get on the ball. I don't mind that at all. But, I mean, yeah, we kind of play off each other. He looks for me, I look for him. So it's good to see him do well. Anything else, guys? Just one more about JP. What's what are you losing at least for the one game? You know, if he's not out there, what, what kind of what, what absence is he going to have? Uh, I feel like the only absence absence we'll have from him will be on the court. Of course, we're losing his ability, but him as a leader is going to be there. He came back same game he got hurt was just as good as a leader as he is on the court on the bench. So I feel like that'll be big for us, and he's a big part of our team. Really a big blue guy for us. So we love JP, and he'll be good.